people always ask, do I need to hold these threads when I start to sew? You know, on this machine, you don't. Now, I do advise though, that the very first time the needle goes in the fabric, it needs to go in the fabric. So if your fabric isn't all the way in and you can see air in through the foot, then maybe you wanna hold those threads. Or if you do it like I do, I like to start in just a little ways and start off with the reverse button. This is going to sew backwards, locking your stitches. But if you start in a little ways and then just stitch backwards till the edge of the fabric, even if you go an extra stitch off, it won't be a problem and you don't have to hold those threads. So usually what you do for reversing is just go ahead and sew when you need it, you touch and hold it, and release it when you're ready to come to the end of your stitching. Once again, if I have my needle stopping in the down position, if I touch and hold the needle up down button for just an extra second, it will bring the needle up for me. Then I can pull that right on out. Use the cutter on the side to cut the threads. Then that locking stitch is definitely gonna hold. Now I've had some times where my projects are so big and bulky, stitching backwards a little ways is, I don't even have enough hands to hold this in. So there is something called a continuous reverse. When you touch it quickly two times, it will actually show up with a little tiny, I'm gonna zoom out here, with a tiny little fish hook, the same picture that's on this button. And now with that on, it's gonna sew backwards without you holding any button. Something big and heavy, you got hands on it, all hands on deck to keep it going straight. Then when you need to release it, you can come up here, push it two times, and then it'll turn itself off and then you can go forward again. So if you ever get stuck in a reverse or continuous reverse, that's what you've done. You've touched this two times and then it's on there. And then you can actually, it's just a one touch to turn it off. That's nice. But if you don't wanna have it go backwards all the time, just a quick little touch and hold will do the job for reversing.